really like that sausage, huh, Pete? Mm -hmm. Mom, you got any more of that bacon? Oh. Well, of course we do. Here you go, honey. Mm. What did you want? Thank you. Good French toast, Mom. Oh, it's easy to make. I could teach you. Yeah, maybe sometime. You know, I think that time is now. Because, you know, there is nothing more attractive to the ladies than a gourmet cook. Oh, I remember how your father charmed me with some crepe, Suzette. Mm. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that. I gotta get ready for school. Mm. Actually, you know what? I do, too. Give me. I got it. I got it. Pete is paying rent. Hmm? Howie Levine and I were resecting a bowel, and he told me he has two kids in their 30s still living in his house, eating his food. And he has his kids pay? Well, we got distracted, and the operation started going a little hinky, so uh, we never finished the conversation, but Pete's paying rent. Listen here, mister. I like having Pete around here. He helps me out around the house, and uh, we're not scaring him off by asking him for rent. We'll talk about this later. I heard that. Student council. Conquer it, and the rest of the school falls in line behind you. Question. Hazard. Isn't student council lame? Lame? Is controlling the purse strings for our entire school lame? Yes. Hey, I'm all for it. It's about time we overthrow that symbolic puppet government and replace it with a, a vital political entity. Plus, the ladies like the power. Yeah. It, you know what, Fish? Count me out. But there are three spots. It's just not my deal, dude. All right. With two of the three spots secured, I'll volunteer to be treasurer. Andy, are you down here playing with your friends? Planning, Mother. Well, does a new pair of cargo pants fit into your plans? Oh, honey, these are going to look so handsome on you. <laughs> and look, they've got all these pockets Mom, on the side. Mom. And... Mom, you're undermining my credibility here. We have a deal. When you are not down here doing laundry, this is my war room. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry for interrupting your little meeting. Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks for the pants, Mom. Pete? Laura, hey. Sorry, I was just uh, gonna finishing up some work. Mm. I just came in to thank you. I saw you signed up to be an advisor for the Key Club. Oh, are you involved in that? Every year. Really? You know, my name is at the top of the sheet you signed up on, the one that was on my classroom door. Huh. Yeah, I missed all that. So I guess we should get started, huh? All right, the key club. No, I really, I can't wait to get in there and, and help those key club kids. Pete, do you have any idea what the key club is? I know it's key. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I, I know there's a rule that says teachers can't date each other. There's no rule that says teachers can't date each other. Really? I'd love to. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could, I don't know, grab some coffee at mid-morning break. I would really like to, but I actually have plans. So, another time, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, before we get started, is anyone here interested in being the freshman representative to the student council? Campaign buttons. Oh. There's crispy treats. Game on. Okay. With all the interest expressed by the other classes, that means we have a grand total of three candidates. Congratulations, you guys win. All right! Oh, great job, you guys. Hey, you ran a sweet campaign. Uh, but when do we give our speeches? What for? You won. I demand a forum. The war between the states. Wait, wait, wait. Look, I'm sorry if democracy doesn't fit into your schedule, but... Mr. Krakowski, the election is over. If you interrupt again, you're suspended. Very well. I'm assuming you all did the reading last night. Does anyone have any questions? I have a question. Yes. <sighs> what does it mean to be a student? Hmm? What are our duties as representatives of this school? Our responsibilities are mandatory. 
Like those biscuits? Andy made them. Too bad you can't bake yourself a lady friend. <laughs> Kill me now. What I got there, Pop? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing, no. Say, could you uh, do me a favor there, Pete? Could you pick up some things for me on the way back from work today? Yeah, of course. What do you need? Well, I've got some uh, dry cleaning prescriptions and uh, shoes I had resold. The addresses are on the receipts. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna need some money. Catch you later, okay? Dad, we got the um. I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Lisa. Guess we'll be working together. Uh, yeah, I'm Fish. This is Crack. Uh, you know, I was thinking if we pull together, we could do a lot for our class. Blah blah. Just keep your head down, and I'll try not to step on it on my way to the top. That is one nasty woman. Olay. Yes, Fish. Uh, hi. Jess. I know that. I know that. So you're in student council? Me? No. Are you? Me? No. No. Oh, darn. I needed somebody from student council to interview for oh, the paper. Actually, oh, actually, I'm in... Oh, you student council. Gee, I thought you were talking about some... Uh, when do you want to interview me? Just call me and we'll set up a time. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what did I tell you? It's starting already. He sense my power. Order. Order. Let's come to order. Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, Billy. Okay. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Billy, it's just I'm looking at it. Okay. Sit down. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, welcome to uh, all of you. I see a lot of familiar faces out there. Uh, Billy, for one, and you in the back. I think you were here last year, yes? And you over there with the uh, hair. Welcome to all my beloved student counselors. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, really, so very unnecessary, but there it is. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's jump right into it. Any new business proposals? Billy, yes, go. <clears throat> Seems to me our drama department is woefully underfunded. I was thinking of an immediate fundraiser to save the creative soul of our school. Well, that uh, proposal is not without its merits. So I guess I'll just open it up to a vote. Excuse me. I'm curious why we're doing something to benefit one small group of students. I mean, shouldn't we do something that helps, like, the entire student body? Lisa. Write that down, Billy. Well, Lisa, um, as the drama teacher, which I am, I always thought that our school productions did benefit the entire school. But I will bend to the will of the council. Burn. Next order of business. I need a volunteer freshman treasurer. Since there's only one volunteer that exists to me, it'll have to be you. The man cup. Strings. All right, so listen, I was thinking I wouldn't call Jess tonight. You know, kind of play it cool, you think? Dude, a sophomore cheerleader just gave you her phone number. We're in uncharted waters. I know, this is way ahead of schedule. Wait a minute. My list, where's my list? Uh, I think I saw you put it in your pocket. I know, but which one? So many pockets. Stupid cargo pants. What's the big deal? Just make another list. Well, there are certain things that I listed rather other people didn't see. Who's gonna care about a stupid list about politics? Attention, student council members. Attention, student council members. There is an emergency meeting of the student council. Please proceed to the student council room immediately. That is all. Did you lose something? Well, well, well. Guest of honor has arrived. Quite an interesting little read here, Mr. Troutner. Well, I can explain I it. especially like the part where you describe me as someone whose vanity is exceeded only by his bad taste in sweater vests. That hurts. What we have here, people, is a little plan by our little fish to integrate, assimilate, and conquer our little student council. How very Borg of you. This is a witch hunt. 
There's no proof Fish wrote that document. And even if he did, all it means is that it's his own personal private property. Just what I expected you to say. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're, uh, loyal number two. Crap lacks the charisma to be a leader, but his support will be important. So I'm a bone. Vice presidency. How could you say that, man? I don't mean it that way. Yeah, I move for Andy Trattner's impeachment. Oh, come on, that's crazy. Hey, I second the motion. Fish will have one day to prepare his defense. We'll vote tomorrow. Billy? Meeting adjourned. Some good muffins, huh? Poplovers. Yeah. yeah, that sounds a lot better. What are you reading? School constitution. There's got to be a way out. I think it is just horrible what's happening to you at school. Can't you do something to help? Oh, Ma, I can't show favoritism. You yeah, know, it's fine, really. I just, I just need a little time to sort through my thoughts. I'm fine. Mr. Hopkins will calm down. Mr. Hopkins? Yeah. Ernie's got something to do with this? Yeah, he's the head of the student council. Figures. That totally figures. You know what? The more I'm thinking about this, I'm going to help you out. No, really, no. I just need a little more time. I'm fine. Listen to me. You're my brother. You're a Troutner. Nobody messes with a Troutner and gets away with it. We're going to get him. Just a little more time. One second there, Pete. I remember that deck we always wanted to build on the back of the house? Yeah. Now, how about we start tonight? Tonight? Good. All right, we'll get right on it. Here's a list of material, OK? May have to make two trips. Ernie? Well, well, well. The Troutner boys come a-calling. Could you just for once try not to be such an ass about everything? Uh, Mr. Hopkins is trying to do his job. Really? You think I'm an ass, do you, Pete? What, uh, what assy thing have I done to you? Well, let's just say a lot of people think you're a bit pushy. Maybe you could just back off a tad. Hey, you like my new curtains? If I'm not mistaken, I think I saw you admiring them the other day. Or were you admiring something else? I would just hate to see you make a fool out of yourself. Well, so I'm going to be late for class. Well, Pete, I think uh, both you and your brother have big ideas. Big wrong ideas that neither of you are ever going to see realized. Is that so? You want to come here? You see, she and I may spend mid-morning break together, but between me and you, it's more like afternoon delight. I don't believe it. Oh, believe it. So, uh, I hear you're doing Fiddler. I'm going to squish you like a little juicy bug. Cool. Uh, I'd like to thank you for giving me this chance to talk to all of you. I am guilty. Guilty of political ambition. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry. Go on. <clears throat> well, I read the school constitution last night, and uh, uh, the thing about it is, I mean, what I what I learned from it anyway is uh, very well. Let's vote. All in favor of an impeachment, say aye. Well, hold on. That's done. You're kidding. Go on. Well, um, uh, the, the Constitution says, uh, that it's unlawful, and, uh, you, you can't do this. You know what? He's right. I couldn't sleep last night, so I stayed up and I read the school Constitution again. I couldn't find one law that Fish broke. I don't like it, but looks like we're just gonna have to let this guy off the hook. Oh, well, somebody has to have something on him. Come on. Lisa, something. Well, we could always look for something. Dig up some dirt. We just didn't have enough time to prepare, but what if we come across something? Well, I can't officially encourage you to dig into every little detail of Mr. Troutner's life looking for some dirty little secret, but if someone like Lisa happens to find something juicy, I can't exactly turn a blind eye to it, if you know what I mean. Billy. Meeting adjourned. Hey, crack, listen. I'm sorry about what I wrote. You know I get crazy with lists and stuff. Your words stung, but there is some truth to them. I'm not a natural leader like you, but since everyone knows that the real power lies with the intellectuals behind the figurehead on the throne, I'm OK. Um, sorry, I kind of tuned out halfway through that. Ha, <laughs> ha,
Oh my god. You, you said Saturday hit too, right? Did I catch you at a bad time? No. No, I was um I was cooking, actually. Oh. Is your mom dead? No. But she's really sick. Oh. Come in. So, uh what is this? Uh, a flattering profile of a committed student politician? Yeah, I was supposed to be that, but then I got this anonymous call. You're screwed. Lisa. Sorry to call another emergency session, but Lisa tells me she's got some mouth-watering, I mean, serious evidence. Lisa, please go ahead. Yes, thank you. By going over the financial records, I found a discrepancy. $49 are missing from the freshman account. Wait, this is insane. <laughs> Hey, you like my new curtains? If I'm not mistaken, I think I saw you admiring them the other day. Just say, it looks like curtains for me. I'm gonna need a few minutes to uh, review the evidence, Billy, please. You're touched. We'll see. First key club meeting this afternoon, Pete. Yeah. Hey, um, I was just wondering, uh, What's the deal with you and Ernie? Excuse me? Well, I, I mean, I just kind of wish you would have told me then. You know, I wouldn't have made such an idiot of myself. <laughs> <laughs> if you're talking about Ernie Hopkins, there's nothing going on between us. We're friends. That's it. So then you and he aren't? No. <laughs> no. But frankly, that's none of your business. I'm sorry, you're right. I don't know where I, I get these crazy ideas. Ernie Hopkins, I mean, I, I apologize. I'll see you this afternoon. I'll be there. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Hopkins. Well, the evidence uh, seems overwhelming against Mr. Troutner, so unless anybody has anything to say... Um, wait, I do. Oh. Go ahead, Billy. <clears throat> A few days ago, I forgot something in this room. When I came back to look for it, I saw Lisa writing a list. A list she would later accuse Fish of writing. And if it bull crap. Enough of your lies. Considering that all the evidence against poor Mr. Troutner here was discovered by you, a proven liar, I hereby dismiss all charges against him and kick you out of student council. All in favor, say aye. 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 Done. This, this isn't over. I'm gonna get a kick out lawyer and sue all of you. Okay, okay. okay. Nicely played, Mitch. You win this round. Pete actually thought we were dating. Oh, how cuckoo. Is this cashmere? Oh, yeah, I just got it. Do you like it? It's gorgeous. Is Thank that a you. salmon? It's sort of a... Hi. So, Pete, buddy, you ready to tackle that roof today? Yeah, Dad, look, I want to talk to you. I would be happy to help you. I really would, but I got to get some money from you. I mean, seriously, you owe me like a thousand bucks between the errands and the power tools. I owe you? Yeah. Listen, I put you through college, which I was happy to do. But the money train is done pulling into the station. You've sucked this cash cow dry. Now you've got a good job, you're making good money. This is my way of getting rent from you. Rent? What, what are you talking about? I've been paying my rent ever since I moved back from college. 
It's a new kind of comedy coming to NBC. Don't look at me when we're moving somewhere. Three new doctors learning by doing. Moving on. Make no mistake, they're not idiots. They're just new. It's a good thing they make surgical masks, because if they didn't, everyone would know that my face is like this the whole time. Scrubs, coming this fall to NBC. I want